Open up a tab, grab a seat, and pour a pint. It's time for the Beer Guys Radio Show. You want free beer? Go to the brewery. Dedicated to the art, science, and enjoyment of craft beer. Yeah, what's wrong with the beer we got? Now, here are your hosts, Tim Dennis and Aaron Williams. And welcome to the Beer Guys Radio Show. We are radio for the local craft beer movement, broadcasting from Top Golf Alpharetta. And I'm Aaron Williams. And I'm Tim Dennis. And we're about to swing into spring, even though you wouldn't know it with the, the cold snap exactly, we had yeah. this week. But folks are going to be dusting off their golf clubs, getting ready to hit the links. So we're at Top Golf talking to them about their their spring leagues that are coming up. And this is the final of your uh, fall leagues or winter leagues, correct, Gina? It is, yeah. Yeah, so we're here for the finals. People out there having some fun with golf, enjoying some craft beers. And uh, we'll also talk to some league sponsors here, Jackal Brewing and uh, Reformation. Yeah, sounds like fun. So let's uh, set it up, too, by the way. Gina Silver is the uh, Top Golf Marketing Direct, Senior Marketing Manager, and also David Gleason. He's the Top Golf Director of Instruction. So they're going to join us here uh, right now. So thanks for joining us on the Beer Guys Radio Show. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Definitely, definitely. We'll talk to you guys in just a little bit. But uh, first of all, we need to talk about some beer. Talk and beer. What a like weekend! Beer. What a weekend we had, Tim. We did. It was nice. So we we, we traveled down to Tampa, Florida, to have a little thing called Hunapu's Day. Hunapu's. You may have yes. heard of it. Cigar City, of course, uh, releases their Hunapu Imperial Stout, Ooh. and uh, that happened this weekend. And along with it was a big old beer fest. And we partook. Uh, the whole Tampa Beer Week. <laughs> yes. So we got there for the tail end of it with the uh, Hunapu's Fest. Uh, the last time I'd been to the festival, it was still held at the brewery. Okay. The infamous year when they ran out of beer. They've I, expanded it a lot since yep. then. A lot better fest. It was just an awesome time. So many great breweries there. Georgia had a strong representation. You know what they there. really did? It, it almost sounded like half of that Atlanta was down in Tampa yeah, that weekend. I saw so. all my friends from here down there. Yeah, absolutely. So I got to try Georgia beers that I can't get here. <laughs> exactly. There, exactly. So, but, uh, yeah. yeah, great time. We got to go out to a couple other breweries in Tampa and just uh, enjoy the weekend. Definitely. What are some of the highlights for you? Uh, you know what? Cycle had that collaboration with uh, oh, yeah. New Belgium. I think it was called of, of Sand and Snow, the Barrel Age Strong. That Ale. was wonderful, yeah. That was fantastic. Really enjoyed that. And I like the Rainbow Sherbet uh, Berliner and the Sienna Fion. At Angry Chair. At Angry Chair, yes. Those are so, of my yeah, favorites. I loved Angry Chair. Angry Chair has some great beers. I'm a little bit old, and their vibe was just uh, For the killing heavy me. Metal they, they had banging. thrash yes. heavy metal cranking at 11, and I so just. So, we went to CUNY Brewing, older. though, and that was a little more our speed at that time. Exactly. After three days of drinking, that was our, our speed. Yeah, definitely. And CUNY Brewing, brand new. We just uh, kind of stumbled into them. Yeah. Uh, they're in uh, D- Destin, or not Destin, but uh, was they it? They were in Dunedin. Dunedin, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, one of the D names in Florida. And uh, four months old brand new they had 10 beers on tap was just a single looks like a five barrel system they had some guy just yeah. hanging out doing his thing and it, it was awesome a little I mean, chill patio open doors yeah. everybody relaxing good time a really cool neighborhood yeah. place and i really really enjoyed that that was awesome uh some of the beers that were on tap at hunapu were just fantastic of course uh i'm not a craft beer f- uh, festival type of guy usually it's kind of kind of new to the game i just think it's hilarious when people run to the lines to try Literally and get what they need sprinting to beer lines. Exactly, yes. exactly. And so, you know, I mean, I understand um, there's some great beers, there's some great whales out there that people want to try. But for me, a lot of the fun of, the, of going to a craft beer festival is to kind of see some of the smaller breweries that are there sure. and actually talking to some of the brewers themselves. You know, a lot of those guys are pouring the beers, and, and it's a lot of fun to just kind of sit there, talk about them, and say, hey, you know, well, what you got on tap, and, and talk to them. It's well, you'd go to one brewery's booth that had a, a highly hyped beer, a whale, mm-hmm. and the line would be 150 people long. Oh, yeah. When the two booths on either side of them were fantastic beers with no lines exactly so those are the ones i went for so i went for, i, I was the same way i'm kind of a little yeah. i'm lazy about that i don't still like standing in line because i'm impatient no so give uh, me so beer not lines. exactly yes. exactly speaking of beer let's take out our, speaking of beer let's check out our truck and taps beer of the week crack open a cold one it's the truck and tap beer of the week Woo-hoo! craft beer and food trucks in downtown woodstock truck and tap Com. We got some good ones this week, Aaron. Yep. So, uh, Gina, you were nice enough to bring us down a sampling of some of Top Golf's craft beers today. So, we've got Elysian Space Dust. We have the Unknown Brewing. What one is this? A ginger orange weed, can? it looks ginger like. Yes, an orange oh, can. Yeah. We have some red hair SPF 5050. We have Reformation Cadence, a blind pirate, blood orange blind pirate from our friends at Monday Night. And Terrapin Hops Executioner, so we will not go thirsty on this. We show definitely today. will not. And yeah. Reformation, of course, like you said, brought some here. I'm drinking the Cadence right now. Haven't had this in a minute. I really, really enjoyed it's a great this. Beer. It's a good, definitely yeah. a good beer. So, looking forward to enjoying them. Looking forward to tra- talking to the Top Golf folks, the Jekyll folks, and the Reformation folks here a little bit later on in the show. But for now, some big news. Let's check out our headlines. 
What's in the news? The beer guys have the scoop. Extra, extra, read all about it. Time for headlines. Sponsored by Your Pie Perimeter in the Perimeter Place Shopping Center across from Perimeter Mall. And on the phone right now with us is Nancy Palmer from the Georgia Craft Brewers Guild. Always big news. SB85 is big, of course, and uh, some developments over the past week. So, Nancy, thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, Thanks for having me, guys. Absolutely. Uh, So uh, tell us what the latest is. Uh, What's going on right now? Well, uh, SB85 is uh, we've we've gotten out of the Senate. We went over to the House of Representatives, and then the House is where uh, some language was added that would allow distillers to have some direct retail sales. And so uh, it now has to go back to the Senate for a vote called an agree-disagree, which is a straight up or down vote. There's not an opportunity for amendments or anything like that. So uh, we're just waiting for the Senate to agree to the changes in the House, which we think will happen. Then we're on our way to the governor's desk. That's That's awesome. So I know people were kind of cautious at the beginning of the session, even though I know the Guild and the Brewers and everyone was uh, pretty optimistic. But it seems like overall this is, you know, we've got far enough in the process here that everyone's starting to kind of, you know, you don't want to count your chickens before you hatch, but everybody's feeling good that this is going to happen this year, correct? Yeah, and that's and that's kind of exactly what what we we don't want to count our chickens before we hatch, and we certainly, you know, there's a lot of work that still has to be done in a in a long time between now and and this uh, this bill potentially taking effect. But the process so far has been smooth. We've had you know just tremendous support from legislators, from our wholesale partners, from our retail partners, from the distilleries. So, uh, you know, we are we are feeling really good about the coalition that we've built and the, and the momentum that we have. So the next step would be to uh, go ahead and get the agree, disagree, get it passed, and then basically go to the governor's desk and uh, we'll be good to go? Right. So yeah. the, the bill right now is available for an agree, disagree at any time. And, and sometimes what the Senate does, or, or really either side, they'll kind of stack up a series of them and do them pretty quick, all in one morning or something like that. So we think that, you know, they'll, they'll kind of stack us up with a few other bills and do a quick agree-disagree, and I'll, you know, I'll be there one morning and it'll happen. And then uh, at that point, it is available for the governor to sign, which he, of course, can do or it will go into effect without a signature. So, And this is – it's got strong support, too, Nancy. I know that, you know, a lot of people think that our legislators are opposed to these kind of alcohol laws, but we passed 147 to 14 in the House, so it's not like this is just skating through. This has got strong support. Yeah, and we we have been just blown away by the amount of support that that we've gotten from our from our legislators and from leadership. Um, we uh, have done a lot of hard work uh, the last few years, and and I know that uh, a lot of your listeners are very aware of the hard work we've had to do the last few years. Yeah. Um, and all of that was kind of leading towards a moment where we have everybody educated, everybody excited about this issue. We built the coalition that we needed, and uh, it's been allowing us to actually move forward. Yeah, taking a little longer than uh, most of us wanted, but it finally seems like it's time. Yeah, and I'll tell you, you know, even for me, my first few years down at the Capitol, I was I was certainly as impatient as anyone else. But, um, you know, having having been in this job for, for a few years now and, <laughs> and really experiencing the legislative process, you know, getting this done in three years is, is actually pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. And so uh, we have we have, you know, our supporters, our consumers, our brewers, our legislators to thank for for taking the time to learn this in, this issue and go from kind of zero to hero in three years is actually pretty great. Yeah, that's awesome, and that's and you'll learn patience whether you want to or not with this process, right? Yeah, <laughs> you absolutely will. You so, know, there's 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 fights that are going on down there that are, that started before we got there, and will be going mm-hmm. after after we leave. So, uh, a three year process is pretty good, actually. Absolutely. And is there anything at this point on the consumer side? Do we still need to be contacting our our senators or anything else we should do at this point to support it? You know, there's really not anything that we need. Of course, if if anyone wants to reach out to some of our supporters in the House of Representatives and say thank you, uh, we we would certainly, you know, think that our our legislators too often get yelled at, not often enough <laughs> praise to sure yeah. for their support. So uh, Senator Jeffries on the on the Senate side and Jim Chairman Maxwell on the House side, both of both of them really did a lot of work in their committee and and have been very supportive and carried the bills respectively in the House and Senate. So. Uh, you know, for for those two guys, just a tremendous amount of uh, thank you out to them. And so I think that uh, that if people really want to get involved, then, then that's how you do it, is you say thanks. And then, you know, get ready to buy a beer at a Georgia brewery soon. Excellent. Nancy Palmer from the Georgia Craft Brewers Guild. We look forward to buying you a pint at a brewery very soon. 
Yeah. Hey, I guys, I did want to mention one more thing if sure. you have a minute. Sure. The uh, Mississippi Brewers Guild gave me a call on Friday. Uh, their governor signed their direct tasting bill. Their bill will go into effect July 1st. And uh, I think that there's a, just a big shout out to the Brewers Association who has fostered these guilds and these states all across the country is finally, you know, at this year will achieve, you know, brewery tasting, room sales in all 50 states. That's awesome. So I think that's a major accomplishment and something that uh, that the craft brewing industry could be really proud of. Definitely. Definitely. I'd feel worse about us being in last place if we weren't so close to the finish line here. So. <laughs> And it's someone's got to be. Someone's got to bring up the rear. And that's right. So. I'm happy to do it so long as we get there. We'll yes, close but we it still out. make great beer here, so that's that's all that matters at the end of the day. Exactly. That's right. Cool, Nancy. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You're listening to the Beer Guys Radio Show. We're going to take a quick break here, but we'll be back in just a moment. We'll be talking to Gina and David from Top Golf. We are Reformation Brewery, celebrating the reformer in you. Locally crafted within the renowned Etowah watershed of Woodstock, Georgia. Reformation creates yeast-forward brews full of aroma and flavor crafted to last. Come see us in beautiful Woodstock, Georgia, for a tour and tasting of unique brews that you can't find anywhere else. Reformation Brewery. Set beer free. ReformationBrewery.com Spring is here, and that means it's time to break out the clubs. Grab your friends, family, neighbors, or co-workers and head to Top Golf. Put together your two- or four-person team today and join a league. For a one-time entry fee and a small weekly fee, you and your friends can get the Top Golf experience while competing against other teams. Don't think your scores are high enough? Our handicap scoring gives you a level playing field. Leagues are forming right now at Top Golf Midtown in Alpharetta. But hurry, league play starts April 3rd, so join today. Visit topgolf.com slash leagues for more details and to sign up. Top Golf is not only an amazing place to get your competition on, it's a fun night out with a full restaurant and bar with a great local craft beer selection. Together, score, pour, Top Golf. Leagues forming now, Midtown and Alpharetta. Visit topgolf.com slash leagues for all the details and to sign up. That's topgolf.com slash leagues. And don't forget to join the Beer Guys Radio Show, broadcasting from Top Golf Midtown on Tuesday, March 21st. Have you ever thought about owning your own brewery, but don't know what it takes to get one built? We're CRL Contracting, and we build breweries. We are the most experienced contractors in the state of Georgia when it comes to building new breweries and tap rooms, or expanding current breweries. If you've been to Orpheus, Second Self, or Scofflaw, then you know what kind of work we can do. Just give us a call at 678-546-3382 or visit crlcontracting.com for more information. CRL Contracting. We build breweries. crlcontracting.com. If you really like craft beer, the Stout Brothers Smyrna Beer Market invites you to their store. Not just growlers and craft beer, but everything you need for backyard barbecues and tailgating is available at Stout Brothers. Big green egg, accessories, local meats, cheeses, sauces, pickles, and more. If the gang's plans involve your backyard this weekend, you got to visit the Stout Brothers. Stock up today and get ready for life. It's quite simple. If you really like craft beer, you have to visit the Stout Brothers Smyrna Beer Market in the Smyrna Market Village. Follow the Beer Guys on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Now, back to the Beer Guys Radio Show. And welcome back to the Beer Guys Radio Show. BeerGuysRadio.com is our website, and today we are talking golf and, of course, beer. We are on location at Top Golf Alpharetta talking to Gina and David. Welcome to the show, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us. No, no, thanks for having us, I sh- we should say, actually. <laughs> well, then you're welcome. There yes. you go. I appreciate that. It's an awesome so, place here. We're down oh, yeah. in the, in the, on the lower level at Top Golf. We're watching people play golf out there while we drink some beer inside where yes. it's a little warmer in here. Yeah, so. it's been a little Slightly. bit chilly this yeah. week, so not really golfing weather this week for the outdoor variety, but indoor. Yeah. Completely different story. Well, and that's what's so great about here. We have, you know, we have heaters along the T-line. It's usually about 30 degrees warmer on the T-line than it is outside. So, you know, it's nice. You may actually steal some people away from the actual golf course with with this kind of setup, right? Maybe this and that. (laughs) Maybe. So, like we said, we're here at Top Golf awesome place you know there's so much more to it than than i realized right before my first visit so if someone's never been here and they come the first time gina can you give them kind of an overview of what you'd expect coming to top golf sure you know i think people come to top golf for 
a variety of reasons, honestly. Um, I think we have our avid golfers that are coming to practice their game. Uh, we have people coming on date nights. We do a lot of corporate events. Uh, we also have a great, you know, league program like you guys are witnessing tonight. Uh, we do summer academies for kids. So we have a lot going on here, um, but we always have a ton of fun. Definitely. And David, uh, you're the instructor, uh, director of instruction here at uh, yes, Top Golf. So uh, here's the thing. I'm, uh, we talked about it before the show. I suck at golf. I am terrible. I always say I, I own a pair of clubs, and I'm really good at drinking beer and having a cigar. C- could you help a person like myself? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. So here at Top Golf, we we do a couple things. Um, we do a lot of lessons uh, for juniors, adults, and we also do group lessons. So if you wanted to bring out some friends or family or group of uh, anybody, we can do that as well. Um, also, we do classes um, here at Top Golf. So we do group classes basically during the week and the weekends, um, offering Monday through Friday and Saturdays. Um, you can also go online to sign up at topgolf.com slash lessons. We can definitely help anybody out as far as their golf swings and send you home. Excellent. Swing. Excellent. But you don't have to necessarily be a good golfer to uh, to participate in Top Golf and have a, have a good time, right? Absolutely not. No. 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 We, I mean, there's we have it, you know, when you're at your bay, there's about 10 games that you can play. You can you know, just have fun with it and, you know, hit the balls. All the balls are microchipped, and that's how we keep track of the score. Um, or you can come and practice your long game or your short game. Or we're, So where we're setting is also a game room. So yes. if you even if you want to come to Top Golf and maybe not play golf, if some, someone else does, I see you have shuffleboard. There's pool here. Uh, yeah, we have some Xbox games for the kids. Or I, saw, I saw a Connect over there, so <laughs> yeah. you get it, get in there, play virtual golf if you want to. There you right? go. So, exactly. Yeah. So we're here for your uh, for your winter leagues, for the uh, finals of your winter leagues, and your spring leagues are coming up very soon. Is that is that right? Yeah, spring leagues start uh, April third. Uh, registration is already live. Okay. And where so, would someone go if they wanted to get involved with the leagues? What's what's involved in getting started, and uh, where sure. would they go to do that? We do all of our uh, sign-ups through an Eventbrite. Um, you can go to topgolf.com backslash leagues to sign up and get some more information. Uh, we offer a two-man program and also a four-man program. So basically just get your buddy from work or, or your neighbor or something like that and just uh, go, go for it and uh, Absolutely, go to town. Absolutely, yes. Right. That sounds like a plan, actually. So, yeah, we're here at Top Golf Alpharetta, and uh, we are talking with Gina Silva and David Gleason about Top Golf. And you know, golf is great, Tim. It's great. It is good. Well, I'll say, I'll say that. Okay, golf's great. Golf is All good. Right. Okay, that's always good. But, but we are a beer show. We are. We are, and it's very important for us to talk a little bit more about the craft beer selection that you guys have. So, I think beer's a pretty important part of golf as well, isn't yeah, it? So, yeah. I would think so. I mean, look, for I always, sure. on the rare times that I actually play, I'm really good on the back, back nine after I've had about four or five beers. Right, I, right. I seem to be much better, more relaxed that way. Yeah, we call it swing juice here. <laughs> swing juice. <laughs> swing there juice. You go. I yes, like that. That's absolutely. perfect. That's absolutely perfect. So, yeah, so you've got, a, again, quite the craft beer selection you, you guys brought out for us. Tell us a little bit about that program you have. Sure. So we do kind of a, we do a seasonal program when it comes to our, to our beers. Uh, right now we have our spring limited time offers. Um, you guys kind of rattled off some earlier. Uh, Reformation, uh, we do have the Cadence, Unknown Brewing, Ginger Wheat. Um, you know, we want to keep everything seasonally appropriate. So there's a lot of fruit forward beers. There's a lot of sessionable beers on there. So sure. perfect for the golf game, like David said. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and I saw that you've got uh, again the SPF 5050, which again is a pretty sessionable beer. Absolutely. Really, kind of a, a warm, warmer weather beer. Of course, it hasn't been warm this week, but at least we don't have two feet of snow, I guess, on the ground. So we're good to go. But, Yet. Uh, yeah. Yes. No. Don't say that, Gina. Don't say that. Jinx us, Gina. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, so this menu will be around for the next uh, three months, and then we'll. Flip to the next it's yeah. summer. Yeah, and that's the interesting thing about uh, Top Golf too. It's not just uh, basically a, uh, a place to practice your golf game, but it really can be an entire day or entire date night. You know, you could take your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, have dinner, have a couple beers, go for a little bit on the links, and just enjoy the thing. Enjoy the time. Absolutely, yeah. definitely. Fridays and Saturday nights, we uh, we tend to be pretty popular, and we have a great sure. time. We have some uh, live DJ music, and it's party. Oh, Live yeah. Live DJs and golf. Oh, huh? yeah. So awesome. Now, your beer list, too, a lot of uh, locals here that we looked at. Is that something that's a, kind of a goal of each location is to uh, kind of highlight some of the local brews? Absolutely. You know, Top Golf is a, as a brand, we like to give back to our community. Caring is a very big, important part for us. Um, but, yeah, you know, just focusing on the, on the local community, and I think craft beer is a perfect way to do that. Awesome. Now, you mentioned there are several different games out here, and I'm watching folks play this, and there's uh, 
pits, I'll say, lit up out there. Targets. Targets. Lit up targets out there. I like you pits better. The, that's okay. You know, targets does sound better. It does sound better. You're right. I got, I'll give you that one. Yeah. The pit sounds like something you don't want to hit. Exactly. The target is something you want to hit. Exactly. So, yes. so what are some of the games that you can play? I see the digital or the uh, the display up there kind of showing as they're, they're playing through there. So... Yeah, we um, we offer ten different games, including uh, practice. Uh, one, our first game that we offer is Top Golf. That's our signature game, and then we have a couple other games. Uh, like one of our games is Top Pressure, where you take one of the targets and you have to hit every section in the target, kind of like darts. Probably our toughest game here. Um, and then we have other games where you have to hit uh, top uh, score. It's kind of like Top Golf hit any target and then top shot is where you would hit a certain target it'll tell you to hit a certain color target and then you'll hit gotcha. five in a row and then go to the next color okay this kind of reminds me of back in the old days before this all fancy top golf thing kind of happened when you went to the old school driving range and then of course you know when i was a dumb right. kid you'd try to hit the guy that was picking up the balls that was running around I, I would never do. I would sound. never do a thing like that. Exactly. Sure but yeah. Would. Exactly. But uh, yeah. But yeah, that reminds me of kind of like the that. sound but, of but the ball hit, hitting his, uh, his uh, little metal <laughs> exactly. guard there. The dude so. running around like, yes. trying to hit him. Exactly. Yeah. I could never do it. This so. kind of mixes the fun and entertainment of miniature golf with uh, more serious golf. Yeah, get we get that a lot. Driving and that. So that's yeah. Sounds really cool. So awesome. Uh, if someone wants to find out more about the ongoing events with Top Golf and what's coming up, where would they go to do that? Topgolf.com is a perfect place. Um, for Alpharetta, we're also on Facebook. This is where it's all Midtown location. Okay. So you, I was just going to mention, you know, you've got two locations in the Atlanta metro area, correct? Yes. And what, we're here in the Alpharetta one, and you've also got one. In Midtown, Midtown, right off uh, Howell Mill. Okay, excellent. And we're going to be there next week, actually. Yeah, so that should absolutely. be good. So, so, yeah, and you've got league forming in both times, both locations. Yes, they run along the same time. Okay, great. So, and if you've got uh, some uh, folks that you work with or your neighbors or whatever who want to maybe just have a good time, go out there, uh, enjoy some golf. It's it's actually pretty reasonable uh, to join a, join a league, correct? As absolutely. Far as it goes, yeah. yeah, definitely. It's just some nice uh, team building or some nice, you know, competitiveness with your buddies. I think I enjoy the the competitiveness more. You look like a competitive than the guy team too. Building. Yeah. yeah, you know we used to they used to do that. Get our work groups together and we play softball and uh, yes. You ever hear of whirly ball? Are I you have. familiar with this? Yeah. So it's a bumper. Car, oh, this is the bumper car bumper one. Bumper yeah, car high live it. basketball. Yeah, and getting a group of sales guys together on that. I could is imagine just the most brutal thing. So I could imagine and it's the same. Yeah. The few times we went golfing together, very very competitive there, but. But good natured, right? That's right. Yeah, good, absolutely. good nature. At the end of the day, hopefully nobody uh, comes goes away in an ambulance. To be all set. That's the so. plan. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. Uh, Gina Silva, Top Golf Senior Mar- Marketing Manager, and David Gleason, Top Golf Director of Instruction. Thanks so much for joining us today on the Beer Guys Radio Show. We really oh, thank you guys for being here. Cheers. It's awesome. Cheers. Thank you so Cheers. much. Cheers. Excellent. Cheers. Cheers. We're gonna yeah. clink the glasses for the sound clink, effects. Clink. It's very I'm important. Have exactly. an empty glass. I was too slow. That's not. You see, you're not. You guys, cool you, about you that. got the sound there for us. Exactly. So exactly. Well, coming up next, we'll have Tim's Whale of the Week, and we'll talk to. The guys from Jekyll to see what's going on with them. You'll listen to the Beer Guys Radio Show, beerguysradio.com. We'll be back right after this. This is Nick Tanner with Cherry Street Brewing. You're on Beer Guys Radio. The Beer Guys are back right after this. The Beer Guys Radio Show on the Beer Guys Radio Network. Beerguysradio.com. There is something in the air in Kennesaw. I'm sure you've noticed it. It is the sweet, sweet smell of barbecue permeating from The Nest, a new barbecue and beer restaurant in K-Town. The Nest is your new restaurant if you really love barbecue. Ribs, brisket, chicken, oh my. Did we mention the bar? The Nest of Kennesaw offers 49 taps of craft beer and an amazing bottle list as well. It's quite simple. If you really like barbecue and craft beer, you have to visit The Nest. Barbecue and beer in Kennesaw, near Historic Downtown on Cherokee. Morgan and Lisa with Your Pie Perimeter here. We'd like to invite you to our store for a beer. Is there anything better than pizza? Yep, brick oven pizza that's made fresh and paired with a cold craft beer. That's what you get at Your Pie Perimeter, located in the Perimeter Place Shopping Center by Perimeter Mall. It's the perfect place to relax on the patio with a pint after work or bring the family in. Follow Your Pie Perimeter on Facebook for all our beer events and specials, including beer tastings that you won't find anywhere else. That's Your Pie Perimeter, located in Perimeter Place Shopping Center next to Chipotle. Tell them that the beer guy sent you. If you're into craft beer, you need to check out Drink This Beer. It's a podcast from the creators of Beer Guys Radio. 
Tim Dennis and Aaron Williams talk to some of the best and most important brewers across the country and the world. So if you like to drink beer, pull up a chair and crack open the Drink This Beer podcast. Available on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. It's Aaron and Tim, the beer guys. If you're like us, no lunch or dinner is complete without a pint or two of craft beer. Which is why Truck and Tap in downtown Woodstock is always on our list. Tim, why do they call it Truck and Tap? Well, the tap part is easy. They have 12 of them. Bottles, too. Not sure what to drink? All of their beer servers are Cicerone certified. And if you got someone who isn't a beer fan, not to worry. Truck and Tap carries wine, mixed drinks, and even handcrafted sodas. As for the truck part, well, that's when it gets interesting. Truck and Tap features your favorite Atlanta-area food trucks daily. That that way you're getting a different menu every day check it out truck and tap in downtown woodstock truck and let them know that the beer guys sent you we are reformation brewery celebrating the reformer in you locally crafted within the renowned etowa watershed of woodstock georgia reformation creates yeast forward brews full of aroma and flavor crafted to last come see us in beautiful woodstock georgia for a tour and tasting of unique brews that you can't find anywhere else reformation brewery Set beer free. ReformationBrewery.com. Follow the Beer Guys on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now, back to the Beer Guys Radio Show. Oh, God, here we go again. Dork alert. Welcome back to the Beer Guys Radio Show. Check us out at BeerGuysRadio.com or follow us along on the socials at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We are at Top Golf Alpharetta for the finals of their winter leagues. We've just finished talking with Top Golf about yep. what the Top Golf experience is all about and their craft beer. And now we're going to talk with uh, Jekyll Bruin. We've got Brian Lehman here joining us today. He's the director of sales. Brian, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having us, guys. We uh, really appreciate uh, inviting us out. We're- we're excited to, to be here. Awesome. Definitely. Thank you. Yeah, you've got some of your beers on tap here at uh, at uh, the Top Golf area, and uh, we're drinking one of them right now. We are. One of my favorites, actually. The juice actually. is loose. The juice is loose. Southern Juice. This has been a big seller for you guys, hasn't it? It is. It's, it's on fire. We uh, we uh, we can't keep up with the demand. You, know, you guys are drinking a lot of it, and we're, uh, we're trying to, to brew enough for you guys. So yeah. thank you a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's We visited the, the tap room, uh, went over there to try a new beer last week, and cans on stacks of cans on cans plenty of it ready to go out but as soon as it goes out people are uh, buying it up huh? it is it is and as soon as we can keg it and can it we're shipping it out and you guys are drinking it up so we're thankful yeah the one thing i really like about this uh southern juice is that it's got a little bit of that northeast uh, kind of the tropical taste to it of, of an ipa of the kind of the new the new school juicy northeast ipa but it's got a little bit of that hot bite to it too so it's almost an east meets west type of combination uh with an ipa it's really delicious definitely yeah yeah that's what i i i thought that as well i know uh you guys that said it's a northeast ipa i get a little bit of body to it a little bit of bite so mm-hmm. a, a happy medium between the two i've tried some others that have tried to be kind of a a mix of the two styles and yep they didn't do either version well but i think this one does a pretty good job oh definitely definitely i really that's enjoyed this I one and so. of course uh, enjoyed some of the other stuff that jekyll yeah. does as well including some of the ones we've got out here including hop Absolutely. dang diggity and good some stuff. other ones too so uh so tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on what's new with you guys uh brian uh we're doing a lot of expansion at the brewery so uh if some of you guys have followed our uh social media feeds we're uh dismantling the 10 barrel system it went away today it finished its final brew last <laughs> night, and the 50 barrel will go on on its uh, you know on its new journey uh, you know next week. So yes. we're excited to to be on the new system next week and and brewing some some awesome liquids on that. So the 10 barrel system will will move out and we'll be on the new system next week. So we're it's excited. gone to a new home, right? Yes. Uh, the 10 and barrel I system. imagine we're not at liberty to say right now, but another Georgia brewery is, is is getting the new the old brew house. So Definitely. keeping it in Georgia there. Now that's uh so the new brew house, fifty barrels. That's uh that's a little bit of a jump from uh was it ten barrel? Ten system? barrel system, yes sir. So uh it, that's it's big. exciting news, you know, for especially for our, our brew team to go from that starter system to uh, to go to the to the new system, you know. Yeah. So they're excited to to jump on board on the and thing. to fit to fit the new one in there. You guys had to kind of renovate the the taste room area and yeah, take we, over uh, some additional we, uh, space. We did a little remodel work to the tasting room, so you'll when you walk in now where the old tasting room bar was is a new glass window. You'll be able to see the the new brew house to the right when you walk in the door. Um, the the bar is now moved to the center wall. Um, near the where the back of the grain room was, so we're excited to yep. 
And you've got your own grain silos in the back too, so yes, it looks sir. like you guys have really done a, done a nice job to, to kind of hopefully up the uh, the ante as, as opposed to uh, yes, when it comes to Jekyll. Exactly. Yep. Now your 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 tasting room, Brian. Every brewery kind of has its own vibe, its own personality, in that. So, how would you personally describe if someone was going to Jekyll? What's uh, what's a visit to the Jekyll Tap Room like? I think it's you know it's a it's a fun atmosphere. You know we've got some games going on there. We get Jenga, a little. Uh, you know, golden tea, got some ping pong. You know, it's it's a fun atmosphere, you know. I want you to feel at home there. Um, there you go. Ten so, beers on tap at all times. So. so we're at Top Golf now, and you mentioned you have a golden tea machine. Will the golden tea actually help me shave some strokes off my golf game? Probably won't help you s- uh, <laughs> shave some strokes off your game, but we'll save you some golf balls because you uh, won't lose true. them. Yeah, yes. that track ball doesn't really tra- translate well when you yeah. uh, when you play Just it on the real thing. Brace your wrist real good. Exactly, and go in there. Absolutely, too, exactly. So yeah, we're here at Brian Lehman, sales director of Jekyll Brewing in Alpharetta. Now uh, Jekyll is uh, one of the guys that uh, w- walks along with uh, Top Golf. You guys are involved with some different uh, leagues that are out there too. I've seen your exploits doing bowling leagues. You guys yep. are also doing a Top Golf League as well. Yes, so sir, is that yeah. something important to your yeah. corporate culture? Yeah. So we're we're excited to to be a partner with the uh, you know mm-hmm. on the Top Golf League here on every Tuesday. A couple of our guys play in the Top Golf League. I'm not a golfer, so I participate in the, the bowling league and other areas. There you go. The uh, couple of the other sales guys participate in the golf league so moral support for the leagues is yeah. important as well so you got to have someone to come so I come out cheer and, come, and have a beer right i come out and drink you know i'm a lot better drinker than i'm a golfer so amen there to that you go. there you go yeah. <laughs> exactly now so, right. some big news that we've been talking about uh, here recently brian is uh, sb85 is is hopefully going to pass here very soon make some big changes to the way breweries can operate here in georgia so uh, for those who may not know if you don't listen to the show regularly Excuse me. SB 85 would allow breweries to do direct sales. You could sell uh, pints, whatever, in your tasting room for people to drink there. You could sell up to 288 ounces of beer to go uh, per person per day. So big changes there. So has yeah, has uh, Jekyll thought about any planning yet? Are you waiting to see what happens or done any planning uh, what you might do? We're 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 always you know uh, you know working on our plans to. You know the next steps. You know what is our future. Um, we're in the, those stages today. We we do a Tuesday morning operations meeting, and that was one of the topics that came up. And it's definitely in the plans um, to put that, you know, that that plan in place before it gets there. Uh, we'll, we'll have a, a to go beer plan ready for there you September go. one. Yep. Um, so I think a lot of people are kind of in the same boat as you are. They're kind of in that planning stage, sure. saying, assuming this passes, but just in case it doesn't, we're not going to implement yeah. it yet, but we're just kind of waiting and watching to see what the Georgia and legislation wants to do. And based on past experience with beer laws in Georgia, it's, it's good to be cautious. Yeah. We've, we've had you know excellent uh, uh, results with things this this year. Everything looks very positive, but you don't You, don't you can be gun-shy. I mean, compar- yeah, happens. exactly, sure. compared to what we've seen yeah, in the past absolutely. few years. So, yeah. so yeah. So now, uh, Jekyll, uh, we recently met with uh, one of your colleagues, Lou Barbato, former Ithaca College graduate, so shout out to IC, uh, to sample some of the beers. And he shared a cause that's very important to the Jekyll family. Uh, Aaron Lundmark, owner Michael Lundmark's wife, was st- st- diagnosed with stage 4 colorectal cancer in 2015. And so with March being colorectal cancer awareness month, Jekyll started with the Go Blue with Jekyll campaign to help raise awareness and support for a cure. Tell us a little bit about that uh, campaign and how you guys got involved with that. Definitely. It's it's a program that we, we put in place, you know, and it, it's all about bringing awareness. You know, if you can get ahead of this, this you know, terrible disease and plan accordingly and get checked early, you can prevent this horrible disease, oh, yeah. you know, and, and, and get checked. As long as you get checked early, you can you can beat this thing before it, you know, gets to the stage sure. four you know mm-hmm. area where Aaron is and that's what we want to do we want to preach the get checked early and that's you'll you'll see it on what's up your butt.com <laughs> and that's the social uh, that's the website that we picked and okay Aaron wanted to it to be lighthearted and things like that so what's up your butt.com go check it out um, it explain everything out there and and you're doing some events around the area too so for a that, lot right? of events a lot of retailers are participating you can check it out, and some proceeds are going back to the Emory Winship Foundation. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're going to give back to 
to the area where uh, Aaron's getting treatment. So we're excited about that. So it's an easy website to remember, at least. It is. That's so true. You're, you're not going to forget it. it you know? That's right. We, Absolutely. You know, we want to know what's up your butt. So you know, <laughs> go blue with Jekyll Brew. You know. There you go. It's a. Uh, you know, it. We want. We want it to be. Uh, we want you to get checked early. We want you to get ahead of the game. You know. Aaron was a uh, was a fit person. You know, she never got checked. So and it kind of it snuck up on her and. It, it can all be prevented if things are. And that's you know, that's something I read when I was reading her really. story. Is there was no real signs that she was that she was ill. Correct. correct. She just. Uh, I believe they were going through an adoption process to adopt a child, and through the physical there, she just went in. And when they were doing the physical, when they pressed uh, on her abdomen, she felt a pain, and that's how they found out. So wow. you don't have to necessarily feel sick or or, or really bad for for something to be there. Correct. Correct. And that's that's the biggest thing is. And Michael's been pushing hard, you know, and it's all about getting checked early, you know. You never know what you have until you go out there and really get the physical, get right. checked early. Doesn't you know? It doesn't hurt to, to go ahead and prevent it. So absolutely excellent, Brian Lehman, uh, for sales director from Jekyll Brewing. Thanks so much for joining us today on the Beer Guys Radio Show. Hey, Appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, absolutely. We'll be back right after this. You're listening to the Beer Guys Radio Show. BeerGuysRadio.com. Morgan and Lisa with Your Pie Perimeter here. We'd like to invite you to our store for a beer. Is there anything better than pizza? Yep, brick oven pizza that's made fresh and paired with a cold craft beer. That's what you get at Your Pie Perimeter, located in the Perimeter Place Shopping Center by Perimeter Mall. It's the perfect place to relax on the patio with a pint after work or bring the family in. Follow Your Pie Perimeter on Facebook for all our beer events and specials, including beer tastings that you won't find anywhere else. That's Your Pie Perimeter, located in Perimeter Place Shopping Center next to Chipotle. Tell them that the beer guy sent you. Spring is here, and that means it's time to break out the clubs. Grab your friends, family, neighbors, or co-workers and head to Top Golf. Put together your two- or four-person team today and join a league. For a one-time entry fee and a small weekly fee, you and your friends can get the Top Golf experience while competing against other teams. Don't think your scores are high enough? Our handicap scoring gives you a level playing field. Leagues are forming right now at Top Golf Midtown and Alpharetta. But hurry, league play starts April 3rd, so join today. Visit topgolf.com slash leagues for more details and to sign up. Top Golf is not only an amazing place to get your competition on, it's a fun night out with a full restaurant and bar with a great local craft beer selection. Together, score, pour, Top Golf. Leagues forming now, Midtown and Alpharetta. Visit topgolf.com slash leagues for all the details and to sign up. That's topgolf.com slash leagues. And don't forget to join the Beer Guys Radio Show, broadcasting from Top Golf Midtown on Tuesday, March 21st. Have you ever thought about owning your own brewery, but don't know what it takes to get one built? We're CRL Contracting, and we build breweries. We are the most experienced contractors in the state of Georgia when it comes to building new breweries and tap rooms or expanding current breweries. If you've been to Orpheus, Second Self, or Scofflaw, then you know what kind of work we can do. Just give us a call at 678-546-3382 or visit crlcontracting.com for more information. CRL Contracting. We build breweries. crlcontracting.com. Ahoy there, mateys! Hunting whales? We've got you covered with Tim's Whale of the Week. Yar, Tim, I was t- absolutely terrible, and I forgot about the Whale of the Week this week. It's okay. Okay, we'll good. Get it now. How about now? I'll do it now. Does this work for you? Let, let's do okay. it. Absolutely. Well, you know, I've just got uh, one for you this week. Aaron. Okay, good. Okay. These guys hit the Well of the Week list a lot. Yeah, they do. Because they're doing, they have a very cool project over at the brewery where they release some limited beers. Yeah. So, Creature Comforts Brewing, oh, fantastic then, Pell L. Okay. Released earlier this week. So, it's one that they brewed before. They were not happy with the way the batch turned out, so they did not release it. Uh, but they've got one now that they're ready to... Uh, to release to the public. So. Excellent. Yeah, that's those, it, man. Those guys are cranking them out. So go ex- to the brewery and get you some. There you go. Get you some. So speaking of uh, get you some, we've got uh, Ballard Shearer with us. He is the account relationship manager for Reformation Brewery in your neck of the woods, Tim. Woodstock, Georgia. W- yeah, yeah. What the what? greatest place on earth? Egg- <laughs> Something like someone that. Someone else. Hey, listen, that you know, like thing, so. I'm a Snellvillian, and everyone is stum- somebody in Snellville, so it's okay. okay. But uh, anyway, thanks for joining us on the show. Appreciate it, Ballard. Thanks for having me. Welcome to the Beer Guys Radio Show. Absolutely. I need a beer. I need a beer, too. Ballard, what should I drink? 
we've got some awesome Reformation beers here. So. Well, we've got uh, the whole lineup pretty much here, with the exception of the spring seasonal. Um, you guys have just recently had Cadence, so how about a little Atlas? Give me that, that Atlas, sounds exactly. Good. Right. Awesome. There you so. go. Now, Ballard, uh, I tell you what, something we like to ask folks here on the show is, uh, what's your craft beer story? How'd you get involved in craft beer, and how'd you get involved with Reformation? Well, I uh, found my way... Excuse me. So, That's okay. Um, after graduating college, I studied environmental sciences and moved up to Asheville, North Carolina, like the rest of the hippies, and worked in the sure. solar panel <laughs> business. And, okay. Uh, so that's where I, I, I fell in love with craft beer. Um, ended up making my way out to California and worked in the wine business and the agriculture business out there. Uh, lived in Paso Robles, directly across the street from Firestone Walker. Right. Yeah. Um, so that horrible kinda, place to uh, be. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, terrible. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, at one point, I just kind of got fed up with California and said, I'm going to move back to Georgia and go work in the in the brew business. And I bugged okay. Spencer and Ryan until they hired me. So sometimes that's all it takes, man. Yeah. You just yeah. got to go into it. So yeah. you've uh, you've had a pretty good variety of experience. then, right? Yeah. Yeah. So kind of more of an agricultural background uh-huh. um, in environmental sciences. I was uh Worked as a consultant out there in the wine business, kind of helping uh, wine grape growers and vineyard managers uh, figure out the best ways to manage their water usage. Uh, the past few years, there's been an incredible drought out there, so okay. that's kind of where I fit in there. But uh, interesting, you know, just kind of really fell in love also with those West Coast wines and West Coast IPAs. Kind of so a hop head myself. Can't blame so. me on that one. Yeah. yeah. Do you, does your uh, do you blend the two loves? Do you like wine barrel aged beers and such? I do. I do. Um, especially uh, you know, kind of your lighter varietals. Um, you know, your wheat beers aged in some kind of Pinot barrel and things like that. I love them. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. We were just we were just talking uh, with Gina off off air here about uh, with Red at ATL Beer a form that I'm on. We brewed a beer with Monday Night Brewing mm-hmm. and we aged it. Uh, we did a Chardonnay and a Cabernet barrel. Cool. And we put peaches in our Chardonnay barrel and cherries in the Cabernet. And they just made just delicious beers, wonderful nice. beers. So, Because Peter Kiley there, he's from the wine business. Their cool. they're head brewer over there. So that's something that's a, a lot of fun. Now, we, we talked to Reformation not too long ago. So we're I think we're fairly up to date with what's going on. But we wanted to chat with you because you do. You know, you're one of the, the folks that comes out here, one of the breweries that attends Top Golf Leagues, has some fun, and shares your beer around and that. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, what is it that you enjoy about Top Golf? Uh, well, I grew up a golfer. I uh, come from a golfing family. Played golf in college at Georgia Military College. Um, and then when Ryan told me that we were involved, Ryan Morley, who's our sales manager, yep. uh, when he told us that we were involved in the league up here, I jumped at it, and it's a pretty natural fit. Beer, know, it's, yeah, beer it's, and golf. Beer and golf are tough. always a great yeah, yeah. natural fit, though. I mean, maybe not at the Georgia Military Academy. <laughs> they may frown on that kind of stuff, but uh, yeah, now that you're, right. you're a civilian, you should be good to well, go. Well, no, right? I was actually in the civilian program. Us golfers, oh. we didn't have to be involved uh, in that. There you go. See? That that's a good, that's a good yeah, gig right yeah. there. We don't have to march. You don't have to do push-ups in the mud and all that kind of stuff. No. No, I'll have to do that. Exactly. Absolutely. Can't argue with that, man. So uh, we're next week we're doing a show on spring beer, so we'll probably bring this one up again. Okay. Uh, but one we sampled an early version of yep. when they were on the show, the, the, uh, the Saison that has a name now. Yep, and you Sabine. Just, so just... Just recently released it, and that's your spring beer, correct? Yes. Yeah. So Sabine is a uh, quirky, classic, um, you know, old world style French saison. Yep. It's got a lot of white wine qualities, very dry, effervescent, um, and a little floral. Uh, let's see, uh, Huel Melon hops kind of give it that sort of cantaloupe and uh, slight pepper finish. Really, really nice uh, dry beer pair as well with you know a lot of a lot of different uh, foods. Yeah, it's like I said, it's a nice dry saison. It really, really well done. I really mm-hmm. appreciate that. That was a that was a good beer that we tried there. there I, two I weeks love ago. pairing yeah. saisons with just like charcuterie and maybe sliced mm-hmm. fruit. That's Perfect. that's that's yeah. a plan, right? Or there. anything that you would have. I love it with shellfish. So anything oh, yeah. that you would yeah, like sure. a soft blanc with, for example. Right. You know, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll that's, pair the saison with. I still need to brush up on my beer and food pairings. Mm-hmm. I know the ones that I definitely like. Uh, but I, I need to broaden my horizon some. So right. Saison's a great beer to do that with, though. Definitely, oh, yeah. definitely. Cool. Ballard Shearer from Reformation Brewery, thanks so much for joining us today. Appreciate it. No problem. Thanks Absolutely. For We're going to bone up on our wine knowledge with this guy, too. Absolutely. We're totally we'll going totally to do that. Cross. So. Excellent. We'll totally cross the, cross the streams and go from there. So, hey, it's time for the Hot List. Time for the Hot List. The beer guys have the scoop on what's going on next week. Brought to you by CRL Contracting. We build breweries. CRLcontracting.com.
That's hot. So what's going on on the hot list today, uh, Tim? We've got uh, some stuff in Georgia. Of good stuff. Lots of stuff. It is. So there's always good stuff going on in Georgia. You know, that's and that's true. You know, yeah, I say absolutely. kind of half joking, but we just always seem to have something going on here to do in this week's no that's exception yeah. so this coming wednesday we've got the science of sour beer at orpheus brewing that sounds cool also okay. on wednesday it's a pint night at your pie perimeter where they feature a pint for only 314 okay can't argue with that uh spring cornhole tournament starts at truck and tap up in woodstock so uh that's uh something a lot of fun another sport that's good to enjoy with some craft that's true cornhole so. golf i like that that'll Absolutely. that's a good combination thursday we've got team trivia at your pie perimeter your pie your prize so Something like that. Something like Something that. Like that. So exactly. Friday, Gate City is having a Roswell Beer Fest kickoff party. Okay. And of course, on Saturday there will be the Roswell Beer Fest, and it'll yep. be Tiny Palooza, which will actually be. Over we'll be there, there talking so, to the crew yes. in Snellville, exactly. And then also on Saturday, Red Hair SPF fifty fifty relaunch event. So many things going on. Tim. That's it, man. Good it's great. stuff. Definitely. How about Alabama? Hey, we got to, on Monday brews to benefit Rocket City Brewing Crew at Straight to Ale. That's uh, going to happen again on Monday. A vintage motorcycle meetup at Straight to Ale on Wednesday. Also at Salty Nut Brewery there at the Campus Eight Hundred Five. They've got Carl Thomas live. And then on Saturday, we've got a couple of things going on. Bro- board and brew, board games at Straight to Ale, and Firkin Fest at Yellowhammer. So, again, Cabin 805 is the place to be. They've got open container now, so that's always a good place to, to, to go and enjoy Sounds some like beers. It's a place to party, man. Definitely. Hey, speaking of partying, it's time for a giveaway to give away to give away. It is. What do we a got? Giveaway to give away to give away? Something like the that, exactly. Triple giveaway. <laughs> the triple man. giveaway, so that's right. Our winner this week is Jared Catch. So awesome. Jared, thank you for subscribing to This Week in Georgia Beer. Drop us an email to beerguys at beerguysradio.com and uh, we'll get a swag pack to you. Definitely. We got a lot of cool stuff. Um, it's it's taking up space in my office, so I'm glad to get some of the cool swag out uh, to Jared and, and all the other But Thank of the crew. you to all the awesome breweries that oh, yeah. donate to our swag. Super generous, giveaways. it's awesome. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. So yeah, so if you want to go ahead and uh, get a get involved in this swag giveaway deal, it is super easy. Just head to beerguysradio.com and uh, check out our This Week in Georgia Beer. Uh, sign up for the email list. It's going to be right there on the right-hand column or below if you've got uh, a mobile app. And uh, just sign up. We'll be entered to win the weekly swag pack. Also get some great information from Tim. He's got the scoop on what's going on in Georgia Beer, releases, events, all that kind of great stuff. So uh, again, a very valuable resource to have. It is. It's good Good information. Definitely. So I just got a couple more minutes here before we wrap up the show. But uh, right now, again, we're enjoying things here at Top Golf uh, Alpharetta. Uh, really good spring beer mix uh, out there as well. I've got we got so many cans. We do that we have We've, not cracked open yet. You know that's uh, uh, Gina was nice enough to bring us a selection from here at Top Golf. Definitely, we had Reformation brought us a good selection, and so did Jekyll. So we are uh, it's raining beer. It is yeah. raining beer. So it's a lot better than raining men. It is. You know I'm not going to judge, but, uh, right. but yeah, depending on your point of view, right? Ex- exactly. Don't judge, but, you know, don't judge. Uh, <laughs> but I prefer beer. <laughs> So to I that. do as well, but, uh, exactly. We're sipping the Southern Juice right now. Yeah, definitely. So that we yeah, talked so. about a little bit earlier. We've got uh, Cooter Brown over there, another Brown Ale from uh, Jekyll. Talk about food and beer pairings. That's one that I like to pair. Okay. Uh, a Brown Ale or a Porter with mm-hmm. a nice steak. Yeah. A big, you know, nice uh, medium rare steak. Yeah, you and a brown ale is really be good because it doesn't have a lot of that hoppiness to kind of get that bitterness yeah. over. It's just a nice clean beer to have, again, with a nice steak, a nice yeah. baked potato. It's got and, some uh, malt, some robustness to it to definitely. kind of pair with it. It's uh, a good beer. So. Yeah, cool. And we've well, got uh, a cool show coming up next week that I'm looking forward to. We're going to have our friend Al Sharpton join us. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk spring that's always beers. Good. Okay. So, and that's uh, as it comes around. I'm sure the warm weather will be back very, very soon. I really hope so because I'm tired yeah. of this junk. That's up here right that's now. That's right. So that's good. So yeah, coming up next week, we'll be at continuing our road trip. It seems like it's been a road trip in all of March. We're everywhere. And we're definitely top golf midtown this time. And again, like you said, we're talking springtime beers. Hopefully, Al Sharpton is going to go ahead and uh, meet with us and uh, have a really good time. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Also, check out our latest episode of Drink This Beer podcast. This week, we're going to talk to some wild and crazy guys that we met at Hunapu's Day. Melvin Brewing. Melvin Brewing. And, and, and trust me. Those From guys Jackson are Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Those guys are crazy. They are. <laughs> they were absolutely yes. nuts. Should be a great conversation. So go ahead and check that out wherever you get your podcast. Also, check us out at beerguysradio.com and on the socials. Don't forget to drink local, and we'll talk to you next week. Cheers.